Apple Orchard, located at the F.J. Davy home, is a 27-person facility housing residents with various levels of dementia. The unit has taken progressive steps to improve the quality of life it offers through the artwork of Karen Nesbitt. Part of the project was simply to brighten up um, a fairly clinical setting, and the other part was to help disguise the doors a little. So we got together and decided that, that this project was going to work out and I started here a year ago from last March break, so I've been pretty busy doing it for a long time. Well, I've done um, several different things that hopefully evoke positive and pleasant memories for the residents, and it gives the, the, the residents and their families and the staff things to talk about and to divert them away from anxiety and other things that might bother them being in this unit pretty much non-stop. One of the doors has um, a little peephole so that people passing through can see that there's no one in the way and I made that the center of a painted clock and other things like a light switch or a thermostat or a fire alarm are sort of blended into the, the design. The, um, the painting of the cottage is framed like a window frame with curtains and at the bottom of it is part of a table with some china and the table hopefully blends right into an actual real table where the residents frequently sit and have tea or coffee and relax and it's like they just get to look out the window at a cottage. Some people can look at different elements in the paintings and say, oh, I had a cottage like that, or I like that cat, and actually touch the painted cat as if it's a real cat. And some of the other paintings recall holidays or even work experiences that they've had. And it, it helps them to connect in ways that um, otherwise they might not think of. Emily McPherson is the recreation therapist for the F.J. Davy Home. Through her tireless efforts and with assistance from the Davy Home Auxiliary Fund, this project was able to come to fruition. Exit diversion murals are used to disguise the exit doors. So we even find that, you know, if they do come over here and they're looking to go home, they're going to be distracted by the beautiful colors. And you could talk about what kind, what's your favorite book. Um, so we found it's actually, throughout my three years here, I have found a major decrease in feelings of wanting to go home. It doesn't fix everything, but it does provide a lot um, warmer feelings and nostalgic memories. This project, again, was just something to make everyone feel happy, like happiness and, again, decrease the feelings of agitation and restlessness and anxiety because, um, I mean, none of us want to feel that way, so I just, this really has worked and we're hoping it will continue. And I just, I couldn't be more proud of it. For more information on the artwork of Karen Nesbitt, you can visit her website, hummingbirdstudio.ca. For Ghost of St. Marie, I'm Michael Babcock.